It's about people who are conventional and people who are unconventional and those two things colliding together. It's been a popular play for 400 years with good reason. It's a story about a woman whom society has an image of. And along comes a man who sees her for something else, who sees her for who she is. And they're both crazy, and they both sort of find this, that, those things in each other, those, those wild things, and appreciate them. So the way in which some people view it as a problem is because the play comes from an era that is sexist and explores to an extent the battle of the sexes. You know, I'm in this society where maybe not everyone is as smart as I am, or they don't behave with true honesty. And I, and I think one key thing for me is my competition with my sister. Um, she is comes across as very beautiful, fair, demure, but in the text you see that she pops out of that and she becomes this sort of catty, um, unkind, girl and I think I see that and fight that um, because I can't stand the dishonesty. It just so happens that they were made for each other. Uh, what ensues is that they meet their match, each of them, for the first time in their lives and there are sparks from that but eventually there's love and the core of the story therefore is a love story. There's these little facets where we can actually see their heart in a, in a text where just these things pop out. The first meeting in the wooing scene where we have this great sparring match of language and then out of the blue he's like, you're beautiful and you must be married to no man but me. I don't think, that's not ironic. He's like, you're hot <laughs> and I'll say it. Let's go, you know what I mean? I'm born to tame you, and, and it's sort of weird. And then all of a sudden she's hearing these words that no one's ever said to her in her life. So what's that like? But really Kate and Petruccio are the forerunners of Benedict and Beatrice. And Kate is in many ways a forerunner of the extraordinary, more sensitive, more alive, more intelligent, more articulate young women that will populate many of Shakespeare's plays.